welcome to the 2012 edition of Stamp Fair. I'm excited that you're here. Let's get started with our first project. I've got a really quick and easy card I'm going to show you how to make this morning to get us all warmed up and get the creative juices flowing. I'm using the Stamp Affair exclusive set, Natural Beauties, today. And I am inking up the largest solid flower from the set. And when I do solid images, I like to do several light taps. I'm inking this up with Hibiscus Burst Ink. And I've got a block of cardstock right here that measures three and three quarters by five inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up with a really pretty background. So I'm going to ink this up repeatedly. Another one right about here. I'm going to go right here. There needs to be just a little bit more right there. Like that. Okay, so that gives me my base to work with. I'm now going to take Raspberry Fizz ink and I'm going to use the detailed layer of the flower. Now, here's a little tip. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to illustrate this on video. I'm going to try my best. I banked this up with Raspberry Fizz. There is one part in the flower where two petals do not overlap. And it's quite noticeable um, when you're looking at this that the petal goes around and ends because there's another petal in front of it and so on and so forth and it continues the pattern all the way around. There's one part, one little petal right here where um, it is behind petals on both sides. If you use that petal as your um, focus for lining things up it's very easy to line the uh, lined image over the solid image. So on the solid image, I'm looking for the petal right here that has um, petals overlapping it from both sides. And I found the same spot on the stamp. And I'm going to line them up and stamp the second layer. And that just adds so much depth to it to get that second layer on there. I'm going to do the same thing again. Find that one petal. Line them up. And stamp. So I'm going to finish the rest of the flowers in the same manner. Okay, now I've got all of the um, second layers built up on these flowers. I'm going to take this little um, accent image. I'm going to ink this up in Raspberry Fizz as well, and this is going to go in the centers of each of these flowers. And again, this is in Raspberry Fizz. A little bit down there. Just a touch right there. Okay, and after that comes an orange. 
orange zest layer in the middle of each flower. This little solid starburst image. As a final touch to the flowers, I have this little dotted center that I'm inking with terracotta tile ink. I'm going to add that on top of that orange zest layer that we just did in each center. Okay, now I'm going to kind of fill in the blanks. I've got Simply Sharp Tree Sink and I'm inking that up with the largest leaf image from Natural Beauties. Simply Chartreuse looks with the pinks and the oranges. It's one of my favorite color combinations. Go around the edges. This look a little bit more finished. fit one there the way I would like. So I'm going to get out, there's a little leaf trio. I'm going to get that out. I'm going to add that in there. It'll fit nicely. Okay, I'm going to go back in with orange zest. And I've got this little tiny flower, also from Natural Beauties. And I'm going to kind of fill in the blanks. Pretty good. Okay, and that is my completed background block. Now I'm going to use a score. I've got a little score buddy here, and I have a strip of our vellum cardstock that measures one and three quarters, and I've made it six inch long, six inches long, because I like to trim my strips directly on my card. But you could make it exactly five and a half inches if you're confident that that will. Uh, suit you better. I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little score line or an embossed edge on either end and it's about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the strip. I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side. I like doing this little accent with vellum strips because it helps me to hide uh, my adhesive. So when I flip it over, you see it's got this nice raised strip on either uh, side of the vellum. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I've got the sentiment from Natural Beauties, and I'm using a permanent black ink. I'm using um, Noir Palette Ink, because if you use a dye ink on the vellum, it tends not to dry very well, and the chances of you smudging it are pretty good. So. I think it's easier just to use a, a black permanent ink. I'm going to go ahead and add this a little bit towards one side. Just like that. Now I'm going to assemble my card. I've got a Raspberry Fizz card base and I'm going to adhere the background piece that I stamped right onto the front of the card, like this. And I've got my vellum cinnamon strip, and I'm going to take some um, eighth inch 
score tape and I'm going to add that right underneath the score line on the back of the vellum and that way you won't see the adhesive. I'm going to peel the backing off of the tape and adhere this onto my card. Let's see, I want it about right about there. So once I found the place I want, I can go ahead and flatten down the vellum strip. And I'm going to flip this over on the back. And I'm going to trim the ends of the strip off. So you get a nice clean edge. And there's the completed card. I hope you could see how quick and easy this project was and I hope you give it a try yourself to get yourself warmed up for the day. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.